Hello friends, welcome to Leap Fair Do Mathematics. Today we are going to solve another problem from Eskimapa's higher algebra book. This is a problem on matrices 2, exercise 4, page number 103. If the rank of a real symmetric matrix be 1, so that the diagonal element of the matrix cannot be all 0. So this is the problem. The problem is very easy but interesting one. So how a symmetric matrix looks like? Suppose this is our matrix. Okay. Suppose this is our matrix. Since this is symmetric, so if this is the A11 entry, this is A12, this is A13, I like this. We are not writing all this. So this will be A12 will be A21 will be A12, then this is A22, and this is again A23. This element will be same as this A13. Okay, this element this element will be same as this A23 and a this will be 3 3 so basically the diagonal elements can be anything they don't have any restrictions they are real entries okay this is since this is real symmetry matrix the diagonal entries can be any real numbers and the elements above the diagonal that is this this and this they are free they can be anything and once these three elements are chosen or the elements above the diagonals are chosen the elements below the diagonals will be fixed okay so this is the basic case so since a is symmetric what does this means this means the a i z entry is equals to a j i th entry okay this is a rank one matrix so suppose the a i z entry is equals to one then our a j i th entry will also be equals to 1 so suppose this is the matrix ok so this is a column row this is a row this is a row and here are the, are the columns so suppose this is the this is a i z that is i th column i th row and j th column ok so suppose this is the so these are the rows and these are the columns like this ok so suppose this is the i th row and j th column this is the ith row. Suppose this is the ith row. Ith row. Okay, this row. And this is the jth column. Okay. So this is our ith entry, a ith entry. Okay. Then our jth row and ith column will like something like here. This is jth row and ith column. Suppose since this is symmetric, so here will be the diagonal and they will be in the opposite sides. So the a j th entry will also be 1 forget about the other entries suppose all the other entries are 0 then what does this becomes the rank of this matrix is at least 2 ok then this means the rank of this matrix becomes 2 ok so because once the elements above the diagonal are fixed then the elements below the diagonal will be the same as those so if this happens then rank becomes 2 at least 2 ok so this is not possible since rank is 1 so to make the rank 1 since rank is 1 so the elements should be at the diagonal this implies the elements should be at the diagonal ok so they are is only 1 non zero element in the diagonal because if more than one non-zero element in the diagonal then again the rank may be may be greater than one okay so there is only one non-zero element in the diagonal in the main diagonal so this means one non-zero element means all the elements in the diagonal cannot be zero because at least one element is non-zero so all the elements so that the Diagonal elements cannot be all zero. So all the elements are not zero. At least one element is non-zero. So that's the proof. So hope we have given the sketch of the proof, my friends. So hope you will be you have understood the problem very well and write these arguments in the in your notebook. Thanks. Hope you have enjoyed the problem. And please stay tuned with us because we will come back solve this kind of video again. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video with your friends and please tap the bell like bell icon so that you can get the notification of our next videos. Thank you. Please share and subscribe. Your one subscription is inspiration to us. Thank you.